Hello everyone, welcome to Kingdom of Life broadcast. I'm your host Sam for today's topic. And today we're going to talk about uh, something about Final Cut Pro, which for Mac users. So uh, the, uh, we have invited our PN Sam, also called Sam here. And uh, we will show you that uh, for all the Mac users, how can you, uh, how can we help you to increase your workflow with Final Cut Pro and the QNAP NAS. So today we're going to talk about uh, first, how can we connect your Final Cut Pro, uh, your Mac, with Thunderbolt 3 and uh, into our QNAP NAS? Then, how can we uh, create a shared folder into your uh, computer in the favorite folder list? Yeah, and then we will show you how to save your computer storage capacity into uh, your NAS. So, uh, we will go into the slide first. And for here, we can see that today we will show you that uh, a nice guy, uh, sorry, nice guy for Final Cut Pro users to enhance your video editing with Thunderbolt 3 and the 10 gigabit connectivity. So uh, first, we will see right here, uh, the, the picture in the left-hand side is our 1282 1280, uh, T3. Yeah, and the T3 means Thunderbolt 3, right? Yeah. And why we want to focus the topic into uh, Mac user for Final Cut Pro? Because we've known that a lot of people are now using Final Cut Pro to make their own video, no matter it's YouTuber or Media Studio Office or Soho people that they just uh, case by case to do the media editing. So, and also we know that uh, 4K, 6K, even 8K raw file are getting more and more popular. So that is why we want to provide you a 10 gigabit uh, transmission speed and bandwidth. Especially now we know that Thunderbolt 3 has uh, a higher speed of like 40 gigabit per second, right? Uh, actually, only uh, it's a simulator, it's a, a 20 giga okay. nick. Okay, okay, understand. So uh, uh, with all the information and the reasons that we just mentioned, Previously, that is why we will show you everything today. So first of all, uh, we will see the uh, workflow in uh, like a studio, media studio, or a post production workflow. Yeah. So if uh, with the QNAP NAS, how can the workflow be? Yeah. Uh, first, uh, user always shot the video by high resolution cameras. Mm -hmm. And after shooting, uh, they will export the video footage to the QNAP NAS. That's uh, step two. Then when all the material be shared via NAS, uh, all the editor could work in the separate office and consider all the footage, uh, reorder the uh, first cut, uh, director's cut, producer's cut, and all related uh, post-production job, like add some uh, sound effect, uh, subtitle or video effect. Actually, here uh, is a step three, and it's a, a cycle work, uh, several work uh, between uh, um, maybe uh, the sub editor finish the VFX, uh, finish the audio mix, and they can upload to the NAS. Then next editor can uh, add some motion motion effect, and when whole project finished, and uh, you can. Uh, just uh, use a HDMI port to display your results on the screen or uh, share the, uh, your result to your co-worker or your supervisor uh, via the office network. And the most important, uh, you need to get your uh, customer to approve it or tell you uh, something need to modify, need to change. Then you, it's easy, you just right click the fire and can create a share link directly. Then you can uh, send this link uh, via email to your customer or text him or uh, maybe just send in the chat room uh, like the Skype or WhatsApp, uh, like to those app. Then they can quickly download uh, your uh, sure, editing yeah. result uh, to, to check it. Mm -hmm. And after all, uh, when you uh, when you finish your whole project, uh, 
uh, we have a uh, hybrid backup thing. Uh, this tool can help you to backup uh, your project to the uh, external hard disk or a remote re replication to another QNAP NAS, or uh, you can back up to the uh, cloud service like uh, Google Drive, Azure, or AWS uh, cloud space. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, since this is the most important workflow, uh, I'm gonna need to take some more focus on the part three, phase three, because the A and B seems like a circle, right? Yeah. So basically, uh, all the all the team member can just do the revise or the or the copy or the updating uh, by all the data file is stored inside of NAS, yeah. not in their own computer, right? Yeah. So uh, since we are talking about a movie and uh, media, so I think the data file should be very big. Yeah. So that is why we also provide you the solution with Thunderbolt 3, because as you mentioned, the transmission speed is really high. So uh, does it affect you when using the Thunderbolt 3 to download or upload the, the, the media, the file that you have edited? So we will check later. Okay. And then here are the combination. Uh, we will show you why the uh, QNAP NAS is a good combination to work with Final Cut Pro. Uh, okay, right here, here's the uh, several often seen uh, video editing flow and the requires, required hardware and for shooting or for data file storage. Like here, uh, left up hand side, we have a 4K to 8K material like the, the, the video. Uh, the, the, Recorder, right? Yeah. And then after we record everything, we can uh, copy or transmit the file into our NAS. Yeah. And then from the NAS to like iMac Pro yeah. or iMac users. And that is the uh, like the official workflow, I think. Yeah. But when we need to archive the confirmed video, we have a Blu ray. Is that a, is yeah. that a machine for? Are yeah. having the Blu-ray yeah. from QNAP? Yeah, yeah. we will announce uh, ne maybe next month. Okay, so uh, keep waiting, and I believe that is a good, uh, a a good solution. solution. Yeah. Yes, yes, because uh, yesterday we were talking about, sorry, last week we were talking about RDX and uh, CD for some uh, uh, apartment like hospital and uh, sorry for department like hospital or uh, a military camp or something because they need to store some uh, confidential uh, data in, uh, for a long time like maybe decades so uh, we don't keep that file into our NAS because we need to use the space so that is why we will use blu-ray we use uh, another way to store all the confirmed video or 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 like picture so that is why we will uh, launch it and release the blu-ray archive solution like next month right yeah okay and, and next month is really close <laughs> yeah. yeah so let's keep waiting so since we have talked about all the uh, storage storage method uh, we have a comparison from mac local into nas so we have external uh, disk and dust and ip send and then the, the, the option we have storage capacity into Final Cut Pro 10 library. Uh, from here, we can see that the NAS, we have a large storage capacity because you can uh, choose the hard disk and the quantity of the hard disk slots by yourself. And then since we support uh, different types of rate, so we have good protection. And then the file sharing, if you are also a QNAP NAS user, you all know that uh, no matter where or which app you are in, you just right click and you can create a share folder with different authority and uh, the activated date. And then the remote replication, since we can support RDRR, RDRR and yeah, so nice. that's yes. And also we have hybrid backup sync, so uh, you can copy and backup your original files, which is in your NAS, into uh, public cloud or another private cloud. Yes, and then the SS speed, uh, since it supports uh, Thunderbolt 3, I think uh, there's no doubt to the transmission yeah. speed. And then the 
Final Cut Pro 10 library, uh, all the except IPC, all the other method can support the Final Cut Pro. Yeah. So that is the comparison, and that's why we suggest you to choose Premiere Plus because, as you can see here, for seven options, we have one like over fifty percent of all the options. So that is why we suggest you to use our NAS. And since every of the uh, Mac computer, like MacBook Pro or the, the, the newly launched iMac Pro or all the other, some of the other Mac uh, products, they have the Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 3 plug, right? So basically just use the Thunderbolt 3 uh, cable to plug into the NAS and to your MacBook Pro or all the other Mac products you can use the table to, to search your, your, your NAS, right? And just go and download the Qfinder Pro on our website and then turn on the, turn on the Qfinder Pro and plug all the connect, plug both of the connector. Mm -hmm. Then the Qfinder Pro will automatically scan your NAS and then we can go to the third part to mount and adjust your parameters of your uh, NAS. Mm -hmm. uh, adjust parameter to your Mac mm -hmm. yes, desktop. Yeah. yeah, like create the, the own share folder well, there and uh, just uh, on the underlying uh, detail, mm -hmm. uh, maybe like uh, help you to disable the same, same uh, mm -hmm. uh, signing function. Okay. So, and then uh, here's also another picture that we show you how can you uh, download uh, the how can you uh, like input the NAS folder into your own Mac, right? And we will also demo uh, demonstrate how to do that later with our Qfinder Pro, and that is very easy. But just uh, remember that if we want to use the Final Cut Pro to support user to directly create their own library, yeah. we have to uh, we have to put focus on the two points first. Your Final Cut Pro needs to be 10.3 or newer, and then to mount your file into the Mac, we have to use the Samba 3 so, protocol, yeah. right? That is the only these two things you yeah. be aware of. Okay. So uh, this is uh, the this is the picture of how we can create the the, the, the library into your Final Cut Pro, and then we will show you. We will also show you later. And sorry, that is my iPhone. I don't know why the, the Siri just be turned on. So uh, here, still another uh, important thing that, okay, the same thing. We need to mount the, uh, the, the library as NFS or Sandbox protocol, okay? And then after we have talked about how, how, how the workflow can be and how can you uh, input your library in Final Pro or how can you use our Qfinder Pro to create your own folder. Yeah. Then we're going to show you the amazing performance of Thunderbolt 3 when it worked with MacBook uh, Mac and uh, uh, QNet NAS. And this is the AJAR testing under our TS1282 T3. Yeah. And the processor is i5. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe that we have, uh, we have a better performance because we have some uh, NAS models that is with uh, i7, I think. Uh, actually, uh, they all similar performance for Thunderbolt 3 compression. Yeah. And then uh, we are using the MacBook Pro with Thunderbolt 3. So that is the right and read speed. Each second, we can have a performance higher than one gigabyte. Yeah. yeah so that is really good. So uh, for, uh, uh, for example, for a movie, yeah, like maybe Blu-ray, then maybe uh, a a G ga to ten G ga, a G to ten G. So maybe like lower than ten seconds, you can have everything yes. done. So one minute, you have all the Harry Potters, <laughs> right? <laughs> and this is the back panel of the iMac Pro. Uh, I believe a, a lot of viewers you are very interested in this machine. So uh, uh, this is the back panel, like we have uh, 10 giga Ethernet port with, is that RJ45? Yeah. Uh, yeah, at a 
at the right hand side and then next to it is the downloadable free by usb type c we have four oh yeah so uh since we have four usb type c i think we just use one to connect it to into nas, NAS yeah. vietnam so the other three you can you can uh use it for another another thing or maybe your environment has another mac not mm -hmm. an iMac pro mm -hmm. so they can use the thunderbolt 3 connect to nas directly but for the uh, iMac Pro, you can directly use the uh, 10G is a native mm -hmm. connector. Oh, yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, so here is another thing. Since you have a, uh, your computer has a 10 g uh, transmission speed and you have a NAS with 10 g transmission speed. Yeah. But if you are under a work team, you have uh, several people. But when you find that your uh, Thunderbolt 3 or 10 port is not enough, what can we do? So uh, this is how we can provide you. Like uh, in March, end of March, we just launched a QNAC Q switch. Uh, we have two SKU. One is 1208, one is 804. And yeah, 12 ports and 8 ports. And both of the models can support uh, 10 gig transmission speed for each of the ports. And uh, for the 1208, four for uh, SFP plus, and the other eight is uh, com uh, com combo. Yeah, you can use RJ45 or SFP, SFP plus by your choice. And the A04 is also have, uh, in the same concept four for SFP plus, and the other four is combo. Yeah, yeah. and by using our Q switch, you can have the performance right here, uh, both for read and write are. Uh, at around one gigabyte per second. Mm -hmm. So uh, after we uh, see the performance speed and then all the hardware, uh, sorry, the software function, now Sam is going to show you how to link the NAS into the Mac and how to uh, input the folder into Mac and how can we do to create a library in Final Cut Pro and how can we save your storage capacity in your Mac into in into the QNAC NAS. Nice. So let's get into the computer. Okay, first uh, you can download our utility. It's named uh, Provider Pro uh, from our QNAC website. Then here, launch it. Then you can. It can automatically detect the uh, NAS in your network. So just double click on the list. Then you can log into the NAS. The first thing uh, you should do is um, uh, click the control panel uh, from Network and the file service uh, here choose the uh, Win Max NFS and uh, advanced option. Here remember to change the setting of the uh, SMB version to Samba 3. Mm -hmm. Then some you some customer uh, they maybe they don't want to use our uh, tools provider and they, they will mount the shell for the Go connect to server and type the IP address here and just connect to the NAS. But remember one thing is uh, here. Uh, Mac system has default enabled the uh, uh, same bus signing function. Uh, it's an uh, enhanced uh, transmission security, mm -hmm. but it will make your performance lower and lower. So. Uh, our website have a FAQ can tell you how to disable these functions. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but if you use the Q Finder, mm -hmm. it can help you automatically to, to disable it when you first time on the QNAP NAS. Okay. okay. So here we choose the IP address and select a protocol. For Final Cut Pro 10, we, uh, we recommend you use uh, Mount as uh, Semba mm -hmm. for a new version of Final Cut. 
and select your share folder and click OK. OK, when you mount a share folder as a volume, then you can send all your material, your, all your footage, and to the share volume. We can demo just 30, 36 gigabyte. Yeah, right? so this is gigabyte. Yeah, there is footage. Now we just check Start the job. job. Hmm. Okay, it's less than me. Actually, less, I think less than 30 seconds. So basically, uh, one gigabyte per second is confirmed right yes under this demo hmm. or you can choose another video this than gigabyte around one one gigabyte yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's only one second so that is why we uh we, we we tell you that we told you to move all your files into the nas and don't worry about the transmission speed yeah basically the mac they just provide Less storage capacity because they have to put their 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 machine sling and uh, uh, well designed and fashion. So I think that is why we cannot have like s s several TB inside of a inside of a Mac. Yeah, yeah. And when you launch uh, Final Cut Pro mm -hmm. uh, here, uh, you can open a library. Uh, change it location to your share folder mm. just open uh, the, the library on the NAS directly here or maybe you can create a new one oh. open a click a fire these are all yeah. downloads from the NAS yes oh. Oh. And here has some tip uh, we should talk to our users. Uh, the first, uh, when you import the material, remember uh, leave the file in the place, you mm -hmm. know, because everything is uploaded to your share, your NAS share storage, so you don't need to copy oh, again. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just import it. And the second thing is uh, you can set the storage mm -hmm. setting here. Uh, first, uh, you can change uh, media. Mm -hmm. You don't need to set uh, waste your space on your desktop. Uh, you can choose the uh, share storage to save your media. And the cache also, you can choose the share folder to put your uh, catch fire and uh, one more motion content motion content uh, you should change the setting from mm -hmm. default to in the library mm -hmm. because uh, Final Cut Pro 10 supports a new function is named uh, consolidate so if you save uh, save your motion content in the uh, library uh, all your motion effect uh, can be shared in the uh, library. Okay. So, yeah, the all the file and the material is from our Twitter NAS. Let's see, very smoothly. Mm. And it work. Yeah, that's perfect. When you were doing the demo, you just download everything from NAS into your Mac. Yeah. And uh, I think the speed is faster than my own Mac and it, when, I want, when I want to open my local file. I was really? using Premiere and but, I was right. using I, uh, oh. Mac 30 inch with i5 and 2.9 gigahertz, but I only have 8 giga for the hmm. So I think the speed is faster, faster than my uh, MacBook Pro. Hmm. So this is really a good solution if you want to save your storage capacity, but you don't want to, uh, uh, and you, you can just upload everything into NAS. And thanks to 
Thanks to the Thunderbolt 3 technology, all of us now can enjoy a, a fast way to, to download everything like you're just opening a file in your own computer. Yeah, so we have done the demo, right? Yeah. And so let's go back to the, uh, we go back to the slides. So after we see the live demo, and we have several skills and models to suggest you to choose if you want to try the Thunderbolt 3 function with your Final Cut Pro. The first one is our entry level, the TS453B T3. And uh, the, the T3 also means we have Thunderbolt 3, so uh, building inside of the NAS, right? Yeah. Yeah. And basically, from my understanding, the, the, the market price for the BT3 is at around 1,000 $1, US dollar. Uh, so if you are a Soho or just like one or two several uh, small team, and you can choose the BT3 to enjoy the fast speed transmission first. But according to the uh, hardware limit, maybe the, the, uh, the 453 BT3 cannot reach 10 gigabit Half, half, yeah, yeah maybe is, maybe like uh, half, five, fifty percent to yeah. sixty percent. Also, that depends on your uh, computer, right? And if you are uh, a well, uh, if you are a team with a well uh, structure, and you can choose to use the TBS AA2 ST3 with two Thunderbolt and two ten gigabit port. Yeah. So you have four ports with ten gigabit. And all use the two and a half inch drive. Yeah, all with a two and a half. So you can use hard disk or you can use SSD. It's easy to take away and it's light, lighter than all the other bigger NAS. So uh, if you can, if you if you have mission that to shoot the videos outside, and you can just bring this NAS with you, and after the shooting, you just put everything with the. Uh, from panel USB port, yeah. the one click copy and copy everything into your NAS, then you can share to your team for the direct editing. And then when it's done, you can use our RPRR and then back up everything into your cent uh, central center. And with our TBS 1282T3, also with four Thunderbolt 3 and two 10 gigabit port. So uh, with higher performance, higher performance and all the critical task so. yeah a larger storage capacity yeah. and for your whole team usage you can also add a queue switch so that if you have a team member uh, a team member number more than six people with our QNAP switch all of your team member can enjoy the 10, 10 gigabit transmission yeah so uh, if you are uh, like uh, SMG or you have a higher demand, we also have the rack mount type, yeah. right? The 1582TU, the U means the rack mount type. Right? Yeah. So we can see here if you are making, uh, if you are making shows like uh, Alan Show or all the other show, or you are a new television, uh, television company, news company, you need to uh, go out and do the report and re uh, interview every day. And you can choose to use the red bound type so that with your own power, you can easily uh, store everything with, yeah. with your team yeah, when you're outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, we can use, okay, once again, we can use the 1283 or the AA2 ST3 or the, the other uh, rack mount type to construct your high speed editing environment. And why do we need a higher bandwidth? Because we just mentioned previously 4K, 6K, 8K. And yeah. I believe you are a, a maker, like movie maker or, or your photographer or anything. You should know these three brands, yeah. Ari, Black Magic, yeah. and uh, the Red. Right. Yeah. Personally, I personally know the red because I've seen this uh, icon and brand like in, in a lot of movies and area. Area also, also. yeah. Yeah. So uh, with this uh, hardware, you can take high resolution videos, but with high resolution videos also comes larger file sizes for the cell phone. Like iPhone can take 4K videos right now. Yeah. No, in the raw data. 
and、That's、rolling out. And for average,、uh, for like average, the, for all the cell phone, the market can take one ATP. So as one in, for one ATP, you know that、uh, videos per hour after progress,、uh, the size will be like around one hundred gigabyte, right? And okay, for this, for this Mac only two hundred fifty six gigabyte, which means I can only take one ATP、uh, videos in like less than three hour. And if I take a three-hour、uh, video, and I have to upload this into my computer, and then from my computer into my NAS, but it will take a lot of time、uh, for the for the data transmission from my phone to the computer. So if I'm using a better DV recorder, and I want to take a 4K or even 6K higher resolution video, check at the right hand side for the size column. You can see. Oh, at 4K, like one TB per hour, and 630 gigabyte per hour, and for 6K, 1.1 TB or even higher with every 3 TB per hour.、Um, if you want to make professional videos and with high resolution, you will need to have to take the、uh, video clips in that file size. So how can you not choosing a higher bandwidth like? Ten giga, ten giga bits, thunderbolt, thunderbolt, even forty giga. Yeah, so that is why、uh, the the ten giga bit transmission is getting more and more popular. So now,、uh, Qnet is also promoting and launching the new type of NAS and the new type of uh, uh, side products to help you to support all the viewers and all our customers in the、uh, all around the world to have.、Uh, Uh, a lower in- entry barrier to enjoy the 10G、uh, speed, and、uh, not only the Thunderbolt three and the NAS and the Mac Pro or the MacBook、uh, for、uh, these three, like hard disk, SSD, CPU, and your internet cable, and your RAID configuration type will all affect your transmission speed. So, Sam, please.、Uh, Tell the viewers about the, the、yeah. detail.、Uh, for for here,、um, maybe the CPU and RAM is the first important element. So we affect the prefer performance. For example,、uh, we use a CPU i5 60 giga for this demo, live demo. Will be enough for the 1080p or compression、uh, 4K entry level footage. However,、uh, i7 CPU and 60 volt Giga、uh, RAM is much powerful for multiple editors and high resolution application for、uh, post production workflow. So it's a、uh, very important for the CPU. And、uh, the next slide、uh, we will discuss about uh, our uh, storage configuration is a.、Uh, Uh, your SSD fast enough, or your RAID configuration correct or suitable? Oh,、uh, first of all, here、uh, we can see the from this side, uh, uh, MLC SLC uh, is provide the highest performance. Yeah, but if a high cost is not a concern,、uh, we recommend you can use it for good performance. An enterprise、uh, hard drive and the new NAS hard drive, such like、uh, such as、um, Iron Wolf, they are also cost effective option because they provide a good performance and not very expensive.、Uh, we do not recommend、uh, use the popular TLC SSD、uh, on the market、uh, because、um, it's it's only a、uh, good have have a good performance when trans. Trans- transfer the small files, but the performance will drop down quickly when the uh tra- when you transfer the large file and uh the slow than the regular hard disk, it will drop the speed to the uh 120 megabyte per second. And for the red configuration, uh red zero provides the best performance, but it doesn't have any data protection. So uh red 
one zero and the red five are both good choice in terms of performance. But red one zero uh, generates high cost to take up more space. Mm -hmm. And the Ray 5 uh, will be fast, but with not without enough uh, protection. So mostly we will recommend uh, Ray 6 for balance the, the uh, performance and the cost. Mm -hmm. And we also announced the new Ray 5.0 and the Ray 6 zero is can get the good balance between that. Okay, so uh, here we also can suggest you to use our QTR function, which is cleanup exclusive. Yeah. Uh, compared to uh, the well-known SSD cache, we both we all know that SSD cache can hire your read and, and the write speed from your NAS into your device, but we will have to sacrifice the storage capacity for the SSD. Yeah. So for QTR. Uh, we can not only enjoy the fast read and write speed, we can also uh, remain the storage capacity of the SSD. So uh, uh, we, can, we can have both of the advantages and for the users, you can have um, uh, the best of the efficient of all of you, the hard disk you have. And uh, here is uh, the, the picture at the right hand side, please in, uh, explain to our viewers. Yes. Uh, for the uh, uh, SS cage uh, is uh, for performance for the some uh, ran uh, randomly fire rewrite, but for the uh, Q tier, uh, all the SSD can be used to store the data. Mm -hmm. So that's why we recommend using video editing because all the data will access the SSD first. Then when you uh, this to use the data, uh, our NAS will automatically uh, for transfer it to the hard disk. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. So uh, that is how we can give you a fast speed and then to protect your uh, file, data file inside of the NAS. But if you still think it's not enough, we still have another way. Like you can save all your data into local NAS or you can use our RTLR function to pick up all your files into another NAS in the remote way. Or we have hybrid backup sync. You can also copy and back up all of your data files into like uh, Google Drive or OneDrive or Amazon Drive or all the other drives that you are using. So we provide you three ways uh, to uh, three ways to protect and secure your own data file. So uh, if you really take great importance of all the data storage, you can consider our happy data sync and our RTRR. And then once again, we have to mention about our switch again. Uh, that is a new switch that we launched in end of March. And we have two skill, 12 ports and eight ports. And uh, uh, in this slide, we can see the first description, when you need to process 4 TB raw data, it takes around one 11, uh, sorry, 11, 11 hours with your one gigaport. But if it's with 10 gigaport, just one hour is, is all it takes. But why we choose to have, why we are making the standard into 4 TB raw data? Why 4 TB? Uh, because uh, when, you, when we upload the uh, uh, Take IDP to mm -hmm. the social media like YouTuber, YouTube. Um, mostly you, you will uh, post production is from the uh, 4K resolution, mm -hmm. high, the higher resolution. Now we process. We have some set uh, research on it. Um, most of the 10 IDP data you need to process uh, almost four terabytes. Mm -hmm. So we will take it as a standard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, basically not for me <laughs> because I don't make videos in in that in that place. But uh, since that is a research that we have uh, we have done from all of our uh, users, we also want to know that uh, we also want to know the, some feedbacks from our users. So here is a photographer, uh, Mr. Nick Rains from Australia. 
we can see that his uh, conclusion uh, of doing that last, we have been able to condense a rather uh, eclectic collection of different hard drives and storage system into one single unit. This makes data wrangling a whole lot easier. So uh, uh, personally, I do not know Mr. Uh, Nickerings a lot, but for all of you, all of you use uh, viewers uh, as a professional photographer or uh, video shooter. Uh, I believe you, some of you might know Mr. Nick Rains. So this is the feedback and uh, compliment from him. Yeah. Okay, so that is all. That is all the information we are bringing to you today. So uh, we first we go back to our life. And then uh, I will do some simple recap. QNAP, we provide you uh, several types of NAS that can support Thunderbolt 3. Uh, for entry level, we have 453 BT3. Yeah. And then for the mid middle, uh, like middle end level, we have Professional yeah, power NAS AA2, uh, ST3, G. and we have Drop uh, 82 D3. And for the rack mount type, we have 1582TU, which is a rack mount type. So uh, if you have demand for the NAS, you can consider uh, these several specs. And then all of the NAS can support Thunderbolt 3. And for QNAP NAS, we provide snapshot for data protection. We provide different kinds of RAID for the hardware protection. And then you can choose to use uh, 2.5 SSD or hard disk to have a combination with Q-tier, which is an exclusive QNAP function, with all the other 3.5 inch NAS to put all your code data inside, inside of the hard disk. So uh, that is everything that we can provide you today. Hope you enjoy our video. And if you want to know more about this, the, the Bundle Pro usage with QNAP NAS, please subscribe our channel and we will uh, bring you new videos for hardware, software, or all the other usage to all our apps. Yeah, so that is all the information for today. And thank you for your watching. And thank you, Sam, again for thank all you. the detailed information. And in the live broadcast, we will see you in this Friday. Bye bye.